Hi, welcome to Medverse. This is a continuation of our Jukegane series. Here we discuss some relevant and must read topic for the NEET PG and also the INI set paper. Now, in the surgery part, we usually read the GI surgery very thoroughly and we also don't miss the general surgery part and uh, like the breast, thyroid and the other part of the general surgery. But we tend to um, miss the vascular surgery part and uh, if you read the vascular surgery part, we haven't read thoroughly or um, don't uh, want to go deep into the vascular surgery topic. But now the trend is, there is every in every paper, whether it is neat or whether it is the INI set, there is three or four question from the vascular surgery part itself and they go deep into this time in the vascular surgery part. Now, for example, there is three question from the vascular surgery part in NEET PG 2021. And in the NEET PG 2020, there is four question from the vascular surgery. And in the NEET PG 2019, there is one question from the vascular surgery. And in the NEET PG 2018, there is three again the three question from the vascular surgery. So if you have read the vascular surgery properly, then you can easily get your 12 marks. So uh, in this time in NEET PG 2021, the one which question from the critical limb ischemia. That is from the critical limb ischemia, they show a angiographic picture for common iliac artery block and they ask the treatment part. And other question is from the aortic dissection. There is a simple question and they give the clinical feature of the patient and ask the diagnosis. And one is from the, the famous CEAP classification. And I have given the answer wrong because that's my mistake that I can't understand the question in the patient situation in the examination hall. Uh, because they show the what is the classification and 2A, 2B. So I thought that is a, that there is also the sub classification. I can't understand that A is stand for the asymptomatic in the examination hall. So um, I given the wrong answer. Uh, although I have read so many times, so many times the CEAP classification and I am sure that one question is from CEAP classification and that's the luck factor. That's the luck factor. You have read the question. You have no, there is a question from the CEAP classification. Still you miss the question. 8 PG 2020. There is direct three question and one indirect question. First, I discuss the indirect question that is from the Wells score. Wells criteria and they have uh, the question start from DVT. A patient uh, clinical feature suggests the DVT and now he presented with the pulmonary embolism. Now, according to the Wells criteria, what is the uh, what is the grading of the uh, pulmonary embolism that is mild, moderate, severe? This is indirect question. And second, the three question is from the Barger disease, two question. One is the uh, claudication, one question is from the claudication. They asked a uh, few statement about the classic claudication and asked which one is wrong. And another is the localization of the localization of the blockage in the Barger disease. So, uh, question is from the uh, non-pitting uh, edema in the leg is due to the limb edema. So, anyone who have uh, some amount of the medical knowledge can easily solve the question. So the four question, one is in 2020, that is one is from the Wells criteria, one is from, two is from the claudication, that is the budget disease, and one is from the limp edema. And in 2019 in PG, the question is uh, from the, again, the CEP classification. So only one question. And uh, the in NEET PG 2018, there is also the three question. One is the uh, graft part. So they uh, give the, uh, which graft is better. One question. And second is aortic aneurysm. So uh, there is one liner question. Uh, in which diameter you uh, you prefer the you prefer the um, active management of the aortic aneurysm and the second question and uh, the third question is abpi arteriobrachial index so uh, they asked in which condition the abpi is artificially increased so in 2018 there is three question in 2019 one question 2022 2020 there is four question in 2021 there is three question so you have to read you have to read this topic very very thoroughly and um, if i classify in that uh, into three part that is um, arterial part venous part and the lymphatic part so in the lymphatic part uh, you never know when they uh, come into uh, they give the question from the lymphatic part so it is better to read the lymphatic part and uh, in the venous system there is two topic one is dvt that is a deep, deep venous thrombosis and another part 
another topic is the uh, varicose vein and the uh, arterial plus there is few topic one is barge disease second one is aortic aneurysm third one is aortic dissection and one small topic is arteriovenous malformation